going on YouTube? How y'all doing? What's going on my raindrops? I ain't said that in a while. So as I told you guys, we are going to be discussing, let's go to Google so I can see her face. Um, Orphan, first kill. So this movie just came out last weekend, right? So um, you guys can check this out at the theaters and on Paramount Plus if you don't want to go to the movies. Yes, um, it is available for streaming services, Paramount Plus specifically. Uh, so this is not going to be a super long video and I'm not going to spoil the movie. Um, so pretty much Orphan First Kill, you can pretty much guess by the title, it was the prequel. <laughs> this is not a sequel. So. Um, cause then she died the first one, right? Then she drowned in the water and some shit. It's been a while since I seen the first one. I do remember that though, you know? But, um, so we are basically seeing how Esther became Esther. And I'm gonna just say this. That wasn't her real name. I don't, I don't remember them saying this in the first movie, but her real name was Lena, I think it was. So, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna Google it. Give me one second. I said the same thing. Hold on, y'all. Somebody said this because we got some audience reviews. It said, Orphan First Kill was as surprising and entertaining as the original 2009 Orphan film. Some might even consider the prequel to be better. Um, I said the same thing. It definitely gave the vibe of the first movie. Definitely. Like, it was crazy and just everything. So, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Yep, so I was right. Her name was Lena. Her, her real name was Lena, right? So, as we all know, Esther, she's like a, a little person or a dwarf, as they say. You know, that's what they said in the movie. That's all I'm going to say. And But she's not a little girl. She's a grown-ass woman, but she but she um, she um disguises herself as a little girl. I remember in the first one when she covered her, her little breast up and all that. Because obviously back then she didn't have no you know breasts and stuff. You know, she covered herself up, she put some lipstick on, and we was like, why the hell is she flirting with that grown-ass man? And come to find out, you know, Isabel Furman, that's how you say her last name, who plays Esther slash Lena, um, she was pretty much portraying, like I said, like a little girl. And that's, that's the crazy thing about it all. So, like, from the first movie, Isabel, obviously, she was an actual little girl, obviously, in the first Orphan movie. And... Yet, like the character Esther, she was actually a grown ass woman, right? Lena was a grown ass woman, and so we also we was like, obviously that's why she was trying to hit on the, the dad, you know, and Mama, you know, Mama conjuring, you know, that because as you know, we all know that's Lorraine Warren before Lorraine Lorraine Warren. That's Lorraine Warren in a different universe. What what is her real name again? I don't know. Cause I I I, I like her as an actress. So, um, I just want to know her name. I know it's, her last name is Vermica, I believe. So, you know what I'm saying? The Conjuring. Let's check it on out. Um, what is her name? Miss, uh, Vera. Vera Farmiga. Why? Where did I get the Vermica from? My bad, y'all. Vera Farmiga. Okay, so, yeah. She was one, she was like, you know, bitch, get off my man. Bitch, I'm not your mommy. Y'all remember that at the end when she killed her ass? But you know, so, um, yeah, that's just the craziness of it all. Like I said, she was actually a little girl back then. And Esther wasn't a little girl. She was a grown ass woman, but she just looked like a little girl because she's so little and shit. And she could, you know, make herself look like a little girl. You get, y'all get, y'all catch the drip. Y'all seen the damn movie. God damn it. But anyway, so we got the whole backstory. So obviously she was up in like this asylum low key. And, um, the woman who was like, I guess she was gonna be like somebody just keeping up with the place that she was um, at. I forgot the name of the place, goddamn it. But um, yeah, she was gonna go up in there and they was telling her about one of their dangerous patients, which was Lena, right? Right, right, right. And uh, it was like an outbreak because apparently, supposedly, Lena went missing. And so they put her away in the room, uh, the lady, and um, you know, Lena was up in the room. And I thought Lena was gonna kill old girl, but she did. But Lena, she had an escape plan the whole time. And she got out of there, a couple of um, couple of security guards got killed. And it was a wrap for them. And that's how she became who the fuck she became. 
but obviously she had to disguise herself. Otherwise, she was going to go the fuck back to where she came from. Um, and so that's where the whole Esther thing came about. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not going to spoil exactly how she became Esther and who Esther really was. You guys are going to have to see that for yourselves. Um, I will say this. That the twist that they had in the actual movie crazy and I just I definitely wasn't expecting it so you know how the first film she was like you know adopted or whatever right and she was in a family so that was what happened originally as well but all I'm gonna say is this the family that she went to <laughs> it all and it all plays in with the whole Esther thing and who Esther was right who the real Esther was the family I'm sorry in my opinion the family is more fucked up than Esther. It got to a point where I was rooting for Esther to do her thing. You know what I'm saying? We all know, you know what Esther is capable of. You know, you know what I mean? We all know that. So I'm like, I was rooting for her when it got to that point, right? I was rooting for her when it got to the point. But when it got to that point where Esther it looked like Esther wasn't gonna make it. Esther came out on top, y'all. Esther came out on top and I was here for it, okay? Um, I, I will say this though, I've been a little bit curious because people was like, oh, is this a sequel? And they had to explain like, no dummy, it's a prequel. Because like, I love people like to see one more. I don't know if we gonna get it, but um, yeah. But we definitely, but you definitely, it's gonna all come into play of who the real Esther was. Like, hmm, you know, Esther, and how this Esther plays into the whole connection with the family that Lena was with. And I'm telling you, I know it ain't just gonna be me. And people who already saw the movie, Orphan, Orphan First Kill, I know it wasn't just me that was rooting for Esther to win. Oh, well, Lena, I keep saying Esther, but we all know her real name is Lena. So, with that being said, she came out on top once again. And then that's when we got into the whole, the next chapter, obviously, which was the, four, the first, damn it, the first movie, obviously, when she went to the next family, I'm sure. Unless she went to other families, we don't know. We don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, is it going to be another one? Because is the family that we saw her with in the first film, is, was that um, the last family that she was with? We, you know, only time will tell. You know, it'll be nice to see it again, to see like another part, just one more part. But we, we know if, if this is the last one, that's fine too. But um, yeah, it was definitely good. It definitely, um, I'm telling, like I said, the twist that it had, I was not expecting that. And like I said, you, it's not, I know it ain't just me that wanted Esther to win in this situation. So, um, yeah. So, but one also shout out to Isabel Furman. I hope I'm saying that last name right. She still bodied the fuck out of it. It was just like how she did it when she was a little girl playing this in the first orphan movie. And then obviously she's a grown woman now. Hold on, how old is she? I'm gonna look her name up. I think she's my age actually. Hold on. Yep, she's 25 years old. And obviously when she was um, in the Orphan movie, I think she was like 10, I think she was. I think she even said it, um, she was like, I think she was 10. So anyway, she still she still did her thing. She really embodied Esther crazy ass once again. And just like I say, it's pretty crazy because, because she was actually a grown woman. And I, it on, it's on her Instagram. Um, how she was saying how there was times when she had to like get on her knees and like the actors who were playing the family that she was with they had them in these high ass boots so it could look like you know she was like little again because obviously she's 25 years old she's not gonna be this short little 10 year old that she was <laughs> so but they did have stunt doubles too for the little girls when they had different angles and stuff and you didn't see her face and all that so that was pretty dope too that was a dope concept um but yeah, she definitely bonded this role once again. 
Um, and I'm glad she's in other films. You know, she just wasn't glued to just that. She was even in the latest Escape Room. I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, there's another movie that came out last year called The Novice. So she's been doing her thing, and I'm happy for her. She's very beautiful, very beautiful. Um, she definitely doesn't give off the vibes in real life from what I've seen on her social media. So shout out to her. I didn't know she was that short. She only five three. What the hell? I'm like five nine and a half. Put this in my doctor's description. Anyway, guys, but um, yeah, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. I definitely would give it a um, out of 10, I give it a nine. Give it a nine. Give it an out of 10. Solid nine. Solid 9.5. Yeah, solid 9.5. Um, but yeah, so I know it's not the only one, but like I said, where I was rooting for Esther. For those who did see it, um, without any spoilers, what did you guys think of the film? And what do you give it out of 10? Let me know in the comment section. Um, also, do you think there's a possibility of another one? Because like I said, did she go to another family before she went to the family with the country lady? <laughs> because I forgot her name in the movie, the first movie. You know, it ain't that serious, y'all. It's been a while. You know what I'm saying? I remember certain things from the movie. You know, that's all that matters. You remember a little something. But, um... So yeah, we, we you know only time we'll tell we'll, we'll see. I mean I can just Google it and see, but um you know it'll be interesting if we see that she went to another family before the original one in the first movie. If you catch what I'm saying. Um so you guys let me know in the comment section what did you all think of the film without any spoilers, okay? And what do you give it out of ten? Like I said, I give it a solid nine point five, okay? And uh, yeah, so. I enjoyed it though. I definitely enjoyed it. But like I said, wasn't expecting the twist, so that added on to it even more. Um, and matter of fact, those who have seen it, was it was y'all too rooting for Esther too? When the family, you know, they was doing what they was doing. Cause I know it wasn't just me. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Was y'all team Esther? Was y'all team family? I hope y'all, I hope y'all, y'all, y'all agree with me on this. Like at that point where it looked like Esther was, you know, down and out, y'all let me know in the comment section. I know it wasn't just me. I'll be damned. I know y'all was rooting for Esther to win. And even though, like I say, Esther, she, you know, she crazy. She, she crazy. You know what I'm saying? She crazy. She always, you know, the wrong woman. You 30 something years old and you posing yourself as a little girl. So you got some issues. But in that situation, tell me, I know I wasn't just the only one rooting for her. I was sitting up in the theater. I'm like, oh, hell no. She is not going to go out like this. So y'all let me know in the comment section. But other than that, I enjoyed the film. Um, it makes me want to go back and watch the original one, honestly. I mean, and what I loved about it, too, is um, Isabel. She looked the same, obviously. She just grown. So, yeah. Yeah. So, shout out to her. Y'all, shout out to Isabel. Period. Period. Okay, well, that being said, you guys, if you enjoyed this review, please hit the like button, comment below any movies that you would like me to review next. Um, I would like to do that, too, for the month of October for some Halloween purposes. So, y'all let me know in the comment section some movies y'all would like for me to review. Um, you know, sum it up, you know, give my little um, funny, humorous commentary to it. Y'all let me know in the comment section. I would highly appreciate it. I miss y'all. I miss y'all. And, uh, you know, just bear with me. Like I said, I've just been working... Yeah, honestly, I've been working. I've been trying to get my sleep together. A lot of other things, too. So, yeah. So, be sure to just leave me some movie review requests in the comments as well as other videos we can react to together. Okay, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I got a dentist appointment real motherfucking soon. So, you'll probably get these videos tomorrow for sure. So, um, in advance, happy Friday! Okay, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this review and I hope we can, you know, do some more movie reviews in the future. So, you know, just leave them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Taylor Rain and I'm out. Y'all, hold on, real extra quick thought. I'm binge watching Sailor Moon and I'm enjoying it. Shout out to Usagi Emotional Ass. Moon Prism Power Mega! Sailor Moon. Hold on. What, what hand does she use? And, and by the power of the moon, I will. Hold on. I will punish you. See y'all later. <laughs>
हाँ हाँ हाँ